Right, so let's try to export a sheet from Revit. We will open this RAG Advanced Sample project. And here we are going to go to Project Browser and look for maybe the section one, the section sheet. And in here I will place a render. So I have a rendering right here. And I will place it right here. Now I will go to File to export this out to a CAD format, which will be the CAD format. And in here we we'll click Next and make sure that I don't export views and sheets and links as external references. And I will save it in 2018, that is fine. And everything will be fine. Right. Once I am ready, I will go to that folder and I will see that I have my file. I have a PCP file, which will be, be all my settings as I see it in Revit. And then I will have two external references, which are the pictures. And I hate that because usually you will just email the CAD file and you will lose your references. So let's see what happens when you erase or delete these two files. If you open your CAD file, you will see you will see that you don't have those two references and you just see the root where they were located. So to fix this, you have to kind of bind these images, which is not really bind, but we'll go to the folder, bring those two back. So now that I have them back, I will see my external references that I can reload them. them. So I will, I mean, reload reload so now I see them but I have to bind them and there is no way that you can bind them right here there is not an option so how do you do it how do you bind these files so this this is a trick you go to the folder where you export it you do a right click and open with paint now, once you are in paint, you do a control A to select everything and then a control C to copy. And in here, you just do a paste special as a paint, as a paint brush picture. All right. And you place it around here. You make sure that the size is the right one about and then you can just go to external references make sure it's the right one all right so this is the one and I will detach so now I don't have anything there I can even delete that because that is a layout so I don't need it window layout and I will move this one to where I want it okay cool now this one I will do the same so I will go to the folder I will right click open with paint once you are in paint you will do a control A to select everything control C to copy and in here you will do a paste special paintbrush picture and place it wherever you want maybe on top so we can see the length on the picture and now you will the size so around there all right and now I can detach 
my external reference detach external references and I can place my logo there so move it around there cool and now I can save so I will zoom out and save it in the same location with the same name yes all right once you save you can click out of here go to your folder and open and erase this we don't need this we don't need that one and we don't need that one and let's see if it works so now you have your two images as you want it. All right it's that simple and they are bound so you don't have to email the images anymore that's it for now i hope that you like this video if you have another way to do this please leave me a comment below so i can maybe update this video i'll see you next time yeah.